NASA, SpaceX, and other companies are working tirelessly to develop new, powerful rockets that can carry significantly larger payloads into space. Two of the most promising contenders are the Space Launch System, SLS, and Starship. The Space Launch System, developed by NASA, is a heavy-lift rocket designed to carry astronauts and cargo on missions beyond Earth's orbit. Its towering presence and immense thrust capabilities make it an ideal choice for ambitious interplanetary missions. On the other hand, SpaceX's Starship is a fully reusable spacecraft that promises to revolutionize space travel. It's being designed to carry both crew and cargo to various destinations in the solar system, making it a game-changer for future exploration missions. One such mission could be the exploration of the icy moons that orbit Jupiter and Saturn. We know that these moons, such as Europa, Ganymede and Enceladus, are believed to have subsurface oceans beneath their icy crusts. These oceans are thought to be potential havens for extraterrestrial life, making them prime targets for near-future robotic expeditions. As we have gained a lot of experience with the Mars rovers that have explored the surface of the red planet like Sojourner, 1997, Spirit, 2004-2010, Opportunity, 2004-2018, Curiosity, 2012-present, and Perseverance, 2021-present. We have to change the way these robotic pioneers operate because of the rough icy terrain that waits them on these icy moons, not to mention the potential for them to go underwater. One concept that will make this possible is the Exobiology Extant Life Surveyor, ELs, developed by NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. EELS is a snake-like robot designed for exploring the insides of icy moons and other similar worlds. Its main purpose is to study the structures inside these moons, check if they could support life, and search for signs of life itself. The EELS system is built to adapt and move through various types of terrain such as icy surfaces, liquid environments, and complex mazes hidden beneath the surface. Currently, the prototype is a lightweight robot weighing 220 pounds, 100 kilograms, and measuring 13 feet, 4 meters long. It moves using screw-like segments and has a unique grabber for a head. This wiggly robot have been tested in hostile regions on Earth and can access places that traditional rover robots cannot. It can climb steep slopes and cliffs, glide over icy sheets, and navigate complex spaces within glaciers. It's so versatile that it can even explore lava tubes. The plan is to create a robot that can do everything on its own while adapting to new situations and creating a digital map of its surroundings. According to EL's team of scientists, when exploring unknown places, it's crucial to send a versatile robot that can handle uncertainties and make decisions independently. NASA is using a startup-like approach for EELs, testing and building quickly. The robot has already gone through multiple versions, and it might look very different from the current pictures when it's sent into space to explore the distant parts of the solar system. So when it will be on the surface of those icy moons, who knows what wonders it will discover. We just have to wait and hope it will not be that long till then. Until next time, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep expanding the boundaries of knowledge.